this is Julie with Beta Holique, and in this video I want to show you how to make a really fun necklace for a bride-to-be, a bride, or someone to wear on their wedding day. We're going to be using Soft Strike Pewter by Impress Art, and it comes in different shapes. I'm going to be using this really fun rectangle, and then a pre-made necklace chain, some jump rings, and some of these little channel charms that are Crystal by Swarovski Crystal. And I picked blue because something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue. Great way to incorporate blue. We're also going to be using these Impress Art uh, metal punch stamps, and I have their packages right here so you can see the ones we're actually going to be using. So we're going to be using the Stick Groom, the Fancy And, and the Stick Bride. And for tools, you're going to need a pencil, two pairs of chain nose pliers, the stamps, of course, a scrap piece of wire or a toothpick, a Sharpie pen, a brass hammer, this one's by Impress Art, a bench block, and some type of sealant. So I know there's a couple things in here that you're probably like, what are we gonna be doing with these guys? And these are gonna be quick little tips that you might be able to use with your other stamping projects. So I wanted to show you something more than just how to make this necklace. I wanted to share a few tips. So I'm gonna start by stamping my blank. So I'm gonna put it on my bench block. And here's your first tip. I wanna kind of pre-space where I want my stamps to be. So I'm gonna be using three of them all in a row. So it's gonna go bride and symbol groom. And what's nice when you use a pencil, if you use a very light hand, you can draw on these blanks and then just wipe it away when you're done. So these are gonna be my guides. So I want the and to fall right about here. So I'm gonna make a line. I want the bride to fall right about here, so I'm going to make a line, and I want the groom to fall right about there. So I've got three faint lines, and I actually want the bride a little higher. There we go. So that's your first tip. Now we're going to take our bride, so we're going to look at it. So with these Impress Art stamps, the actual lettering and the little shape of what the stamp is going to be is what you want facing towards you. That means it's gonna be properly oriented when you do the punch. So the bride is facing away from me, which is what I want, and the lettering is facing towards me. So I'm gonna lay this right on my stamp and I'm gonna line it up with that pencil line I made. And now I'm going to use my brass hammer and I'm just gonna do a nice, nice clean strike. So we've got my bride. Now I'm going to do the and, same thing, I want to make sure that Impress Art lettering is facing towards me. I'm going to line it up on my line. And a nice clean strike. And now I'm going to go ahead and do my groom, same way. So I've got a bride and groom. Okay, I'm going to wipe away that pencil mark. Now I could leave it just like this, and it's actually quite pretty just like that, but I want to pop out that design a little bit more. So I'm going to use a Sharpie marker, and that's where this comes in, and our little scrap piece of wire, and also our sealant. And I have a very um, slightly damp paper towel. It's really very slightly damp. So I'm going to take my marker, and I'm going to draw into the lines. Just draw right over it. Okay, then I'm going to quickly wipe away the excess. And now we can see the imprint of my bride much better. So keep wiping away because you don't want it on the top of the stamping blank, but you can already see the difference between the bride and then the and and the groom. So we're going to do the same thing again. Just draw on it to make sure you get in those lines and wipe it away. Okay, and finally, the little groom. And wipe it away. All right, so now I'm happy with that. Now the thing is, is the permanent marker will probably stay on there, but if you get this wet, or it goes through a lot of wear, it might rub off in time. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of sealant and put it over it. Not much, you don't need a lot. Could paint the whole thing in sealant if you wanted to, but I basically just wanna get on top of that 
marker. And okay to wipe away the excess too. Again, we're not needing a lot. It's very fine lines. All right, so there we go. And that is done. So now we're gonna go ahead and put it on our pre-made chain. Okay, so you could do whatever type of chain you want and we're just gonna use a jump ring. And remember, there are other shapes as well. So you could do this whatever shape you like. I just thought that long rectangle was fun. So open a jump ring by grasping it on either end with a pair of chain nose plier. The cut part is up top. Twist. Now, I would probably have let my sealant dry a little bit more if I wasn't doing this on video, but I do want to show you how to do this pretty quickly. Now, I have a very fine chain, so it's going to work with this jump ring. There we go, close it back up. All right, so now time to add our little charms. And you can add as many or as few as you like. I don't actually know how many I wanna add. I think it's something that will just kind of evolve organically. I'll put one on, see if I like it. Okay, so there's one. And I actually just like one, I think. But you do have more if you want to use more. So I hope you enjoyed this quick project to make a very personalized, special necklace for a bride in your life or for yourself. You can find all the supplies and more projects and tutorials at BeTaHolik.com.